Hi friends, Vinay Kumar here, International NLP and IAS coach. In this video, my dear friends, I am going to educate to you in this revision season of prelims, how to revise Indian polity for your prelims exam, my dear friends. Fair enough. Okay. But uh, before I get into details of uh, how to revise your Indian polity for prelims, let me first uh, let me first take you back to, I mean, I mean, I know there are people who must be uh, watching this video who are reading Lakshmikant for the first time. So, it's not a revision round for them, it's a read round. So, first quickly let me tell you my dear friends how to read Indian polity for prelims, okay, how to read. Now, most of you may have this uh, habit of picking up the uh, textbooks like Lakshmi Kant or D.D. Basu and start to read from there. Please don't do that, my dear friends. Got that non point tell you. Definitely, they are awesome books. They are the best books that, I mean, they are really, really super books that you can uh, use for your success uh, in prelims, my dear friends, especially for answering as many questions as possible. But then, they are not the books to start your preparation with, especially of Indian polity. Indian polity is a subject that has to be organically uh, understood and appreciated, my dear friends. You will have to start from social and uh, political life of the sixth standard. Sixth standard social and political life is the best starting point. If you have to uh, organically build your knowledge of polity and from there, social and political life 2, 3, democratic politics 1 of 9th standard, Democratic Politics 2 of 10th Standard, Indian Constitution at work of 11th, Political Theory. Now, all these books, my dear friends, once you have read, okay, the, all these NCRT books, once you have read, you have created that fertile ground to appreciate the knowledge that you will now try to acquire from a textbook like Lakshmi Khan. Are you connecting to what I am trying to tell you, my dear friends? Then, how to read Lakshmi Khan? How? See, I have told you the what now. How to read Lakshmi Khan? There is a way in which you have to read Lakshmi Khan. Lakshmi Khan textbook can be read for uh, three months. Yeah, people end up taking three months to read it. And it can be read in three days. Okay. So, there is a way, there is a technique to read it within shortest possible time, my dear friends, which I have dealt with in another video, probably some one or two years ago, I have made this video on how to read the Indian polity textbook by Lakshmi Khan. Just, it's there in my YouTube channel. Just, just search for it, my dear friends, you'll get it. Okay. Having said that, let's come to the revision point now. How to revise uh, Indian polity. Okay. Now, when you are revising, my dear friends, I don't want you to again go visit all the NCRTs and mine questions from there. No, please don't do that. Stick to one book as much as possible, as much as possible. Stick to just one book, one textbook for your prelims. Okay. When you stick to one textbook for your prelims, there are questions coming, let's say some 15 of them. And out of the 15, because you just got, you know, you, you stick to one book, you were able to answer only 12. That's a bumper, I will tell you, my dear friends. That's really a bumper for you. Because even if you read three textbooks, you will be an, able to answer only 12 questions. So, the key is to read, you know, no, 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 to read a textbook once and revise it 10 times. Are you connecting to what I am trying to tell you, my dear friends? Perfect. Read one book once because read round, as I keep explaining to you, is for comprehending the information there is for you to know that you know everything that is there in the textbook. Knowing is not remembering. Knowing is not developing the ability to, uh, what do you call, uh, knowing is not, knowing itself is not the ability to, what do you call, identify the correct option in the prelims with conviction. Do you get that point? For example, on you have read all, you have read every uh, module under the chapter of fundamental rights. You have understood everything. That means your read round is done. Your revision rounds are important because 
there is a permutation and combination by which the statements from this textbook are given in the exam, in the question. So, for you to have that ability to discriminate between the right and wrong option and to identify with conviction that, hey, this is the correct option, got that I'm trying, you need multiple revisions, my dear friend. So, this, I, I, I generally advise to you one thing, what you cannot revise 10 times, don't read it for one time, don't read it at all. because. It's, it's stupidity for anyone to think, my dear friend, something I read here, something I read there and I can uh, answer questions in exam. No, that's not how it works. That's not how prelims work. Many of us have this feeling, uh, hey, anyway, <laughs> ex prelims exam is going to have both question and answers. My job is just to identify. So, if I know a lot, I'll be able to. No, it doesn't work like that, my dear friend. To be able to answer question with conviction in the prelims, you need multiple rounds of revision. Got that? No, I'm trying to tell. If you have not revised, you cannot answer the question. Got that? No, I'm trying to tell. I mean, I mean, at least you cannot answer it with conviction. And when you don't do it with conviction, the probability is that you might have got it wrong. Got that? No, I'm trying to tell you. Now, having said that, my dear friend, so how do you revise? How do you revise? Stick to one book, whether it is Lakshmi Kant, uh, Indian polity textbook or any other textbook, my dear friends. Got that? Now I'm trying to tell you. Just stick to that. Now there is there is this is a this is a very very important uh, technique, my dear friends, that has worked for me. That has worked for a lot of people who are already in service now. It should work for you also, but still, I just leave it to your discretion. Having disclosed the technique, having shared with you the technique, I just leave it to your discretion to do it that way or any other way, my dear friends, that you want. While revising, while revising, not the read round, revision round, especially the first revision round, start revising from the back. Got that no, I'm trying. Start revising from the back, my dear friends. Start revising from the last chapter. Don't start with the first chapter. There is a reason. See, in the read round, you have to start from the first chapter and revise. Sorry. In the read round, you have to start from the first chapter and go on one chapter after another because this knowledge will be organic. Okay, this knowledge will be organic. The, 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 the knowledge of first chapters matters to your better appreciation of second chapter. The knowledge from second chapter matters in your better appreciation of third chapter and it goes on and on like that. Okay, but then in by the time you have come to revision, you already know what all is there. You know how they are all interdependent with each other. You know how the content or the knowledge in the last chapter, how it relates to the first chapter or somewhere in the middle of, you know it all. So, in the revision round, go with the technique of doing it from the last chapter. Got that now I am trying to tell you. Doing it from the last chapter. There is a very important reason for why I am advocating this to you, my dear friends. The reason is, when you start from the first chapter, most often, when you start revising from the first chapter, people have tendency to lose that vigor towards the end and the most important chapters now, from where the questions have been repeatedly coming in the exam, are in the last your commissions, the Panchayat Raj institutions, the uh, constitutional bodies and the non-constitutional bodies, yeah, and uh, what do you call uh, the, 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 the state government uh, related questions. There are a lot of questions coming from these areas, my dear friends, okay. When there are a lot of questions coming from these areas and we are actually starting with all the josh of the historical uh, background of the constitution and losing that joe somewhere at fundamental duties, what should happen to the knowledge which is there after that which is more important for your success in the prelims? Are you understanding my dear friends? Please, please understand this. So, always try to read all those last chapters, constitutional and non-constitutional bodies, then come to the, um, what do you call the, 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 uh, 
you know, Panchayat Raj institutions and Nagar Palikas, then to the state government and all those things, my dear friends. And, and yes, of course, then the, uh, you know, state government, state legislature, then the parliament and the union government. Please try to go, you know, please try to read in this direction so that when you go to fundamental rights and directive principles also, you know, since there are two very important chapters, there is very less possibility that you may neglect them or you may ignore them. Are you connecting to what I'm trying to tell you, my dear friends? You generally don't ignore those chapters, which you do the other way around. The other way around, all these small, small chapters, you tend to ignore. You don't get into the details, but the, the kind of questions that is coming in the prelims expects you to get into greatest details in each of these chapter, my dear friends. Are you understanding? Say just two page, three page chapter. Okay, this is what the commission is. That in, in a very superficial way, you would have learnt it. But the question would have tested your conviction with the details. Are you connecting to what I'm trying to tell you, my dear friends? So first do all these chapters. Not only that, especially when I'm talking about the revision of prelims, revision of prelims. I advocate this method because you feel you did a lot. And that feeling is important for you to be able to do more. See, if you start with, if you start from the beginning, oh, by the time you complete fundamental rights and directive principles only, you would have felt, oh my God, so much, so much uh, uh, time and efforts I have invested and I have just done three to four chapters. Or let's say I have just done six chapters. But when you're actually coming from the other way around, my dear friends, you, when you look at the magnet, you, when you look at the sheer number, of chapters you have done, probably something like 35, 40 chapters, you feel very good. I mean, you, you feel that you have done a lot. See, this is the psychological effect of uh, numbers, my dear friends. Got that? No, I'm trying to tell you. Are you connecting to what I'm trying to tell you? So when you, you know now how to revise. When you are revising from the last chapter to the first chapter, you are not neglecting or ignoring these chapters in the last from where most questions are coming in the exam and their details, which is very, very important, which is what is actually being tested in the exam. Plus, that number game psychologically also plays in your favor, my dear friends. Are you connecting to what I am trying to tell you? And in the revision, if in the read round you have understood everything, in the revision round, you will have to look at the permutations and combinations, my dear friends. What I am trying to tell you is, every chapter that you are doing with, you will have to see, okay, every paragraph that you are doing, in every paragraph you will have to see the statements and you will have to see how these statements will be given. What, how they can tweak or twist this statement in a way it's given wrong and I should be in a position to identify that it is wrong. That is what you exactly do. Revision is not a passive process. It's a very, very active process, my dear friends. Your brain has to work in, you know, it will have to think in multiple angles across the same paragraph. How all question can come? What type of question can come? Find the incorrect pair can come here. Or uh, what do you call? Match the following can come here. Or, okay, they may give the statements and ask, to identify, so get into the details. Are you connecting to what I'm trying to tell you, my dear friends? All of you? Superb. So, um, this is my very, very, uh, what do you call, guys? Th these are some of the basic uh, things that you will have to keep in your mind when you will have to start your revision for. Uh, India, you know, when you will have to start your revision of Indian polity, uh, especially, like I told you, from just one book. So, uh, don't ever underestimate <laughs> the, the fact, you know, don't ever think, my dear friends, that, hey, I'm just reading one book. It's not about just one book. It's about how many times you revise it and how much work you have given to your brain to see to that all the details it has absorbed in such a, you know, awesome form that however this questions, however questions are created out of these details, 
your brain should be able to identify recognize it and get it right are you understanding my dear friends fair enough okay so in one of my subsequent videos my dear friends i'll deal more with the revision psychology and all that fair enough okay but for now i hope you have understood uh, how to do the revision for uh, indian polity for prelims thank you so much my dear friends for uh, learning from this video see you all in my next video thank you